Hi everybody, this is Brian with Legit Reviews taking a look at NZXT's all new Kraken liquid CPU coolers. Uh, today I wanted to take a look at the lighting system that's on these coolers, which I feel sets it apart from other coolers on the market today. Now if you don't have a windowed case, maybe this isn't a feature that you will want or need or want to invest into, um, because it, it does actually feel to add a little premium to the cost of the cooler. Um, anyway, the uh, lighting system is controlled by uh, software that NZXT developed called CAM. And if you would like to follow along with this, um, and I apologize that I cannot do this on the video directly, uh, but you can follow the screenshots that are on this page. So basically when we open up the CAM software, we will go to a tuning tab and then a lighting sub tab. And from here we have an option to turn the uh, logo LED and ring LED off individually. Uh, so basically what happens is when you tick the box, it'll just turn uh, each off individually and turn it back on. Uh, from there we can click on edit settings. And in here, there will be options to uh, edit the LED for either the logo or the ring individually. Uh, by default, it's actually, uh, both of them are checked, so it limits the options that are available to you. Uh, but I'm going to take a look at these first, and then we'll go back and uh, see what other options are available by unchecking either logo LED or ring LED within the CAM software. So there are three tabs. we got Preset, Smart, and Audio. I'm going to take a look at the Preset first, uh, followed by Smart, and then Audio. I'm going to have to skip as I do not have any audio devices hooked up to this computer. So under preset, we can choose a fixed lighting mode. So it'll just go to blue, or if you want, you can do orange. You got uh, yellow, or if pink is what floats your boat, you can even do that. Uh, next up, we've got a uh, mode called breathing. So by default, this is what it's going to do. And interesting that the NZXT logo just decided to flip around on its own. Uh, I have noticed that the CAM software is a little buggy and does odd things like that. So, one of the weird things that the default profile for breathing does is it only has one color, but you can add up to eight other colors. So I'm just going to add in a green, save the changes, and from there we'll see that the blue uh, shifts over to green and then when the green cycle is done we'll go back to blue um, so that's what breathing is supposed to do fading is actually what you saw it on when the video started uh, it'll cycle between a bunch of different colors uh, by default the profile is set to go uh, red green blue so you see it cycle between uh, those various shades of colors uh, next up we have one called uh, Covering Marquee, and by default, this particular one is set up with uh, blue and green, and I'm not really sure why it turns off the NZXT logo, I do not see any other uh, options on this software to modify that, and I have not seen this particular mode change it to green, uh, it just spins on the, on the blue. Um, you can modify... I guess the direction on what way it went and another oddity here is I did not modify the speed that was another thing that I wanted to point out is you can modify how fast and slow it goes uh, but I did not touch that so again another glitch with this software uh, next one is pulse which is basically uh, a backwards version of breathing by default uh, I'm not sure why they have two of them here when you can reverse it uh, on the other one anyway uh, again, it has one color, but you can add more colors to it to uh, make the uh, colors actually shift. Uh, this particular one doesn't allow you to reverse the direction, so I don't really get the difference between the two. Uh, the last one is a, a fun one, but uh, you might find that it gets annoying quick. So this one's Spectrum Wave, so it's just shifting through all the colors and uh, going through it. You can actually, you can reverse the direction, that's forward or backward, which again, no change. Um, and you can change the speed, which there you can actually see the change, which is 
I don't know, funky, cool, but for me, I think that might get annoying after a little bit. Uh, next up, we've got the Smart tab. Uh, that's it for the preset, by the way. Smart tab we can control based on GPU temperature, CPU temperature, and uh, frame rate. Uh, GPU temperature, uh, it's going to go on uh, 20 to 100 degrees Celsius. Uh, blue, purple, red are the color choices, and that's actually the same with the CPU temperature. Since there's nothing going on with my C or GPU right now, it's sitting at blue. Same with CPU temperature. And frame rate, since it's doing nothing, it's just at a flat red. Going back to the CPU temperature, I'm just going to fire up the ADA64 uh, torture test, and we'll see it um, basically go up to purple. It's about as far as it's going to go, uh, because I'm never going to hit that 80, 90, 100 degree range, unless I... I'm really abusing the processor here. <clears throat> so right now, if I had to guess, the, the CPUs, uh, all four cores are at an average of about 62 degrees Celsius. So that's why it's just sitting right in the purple. And then once I stop it, you'll see it quickly drop back to the blue uh, because the processor is no, no longer under stress. And the audio tab I have to skip because I do not have anything hooked up to be able to use that. Now, we can go back and look at the uh, LED that we want to edit. So if I uncheck the logo LED and go back to the preset tab, I am actually uh, brought several more options uh, to modify. So I can do a marquee. <laughs> that's forward, backward. I don't believe this is what the profile is supposed to do. The actual, um, and this is only modifying the ring LED. That's all that I have selected right now. So I'm going to change it. Let's hit fixed. And then I'm going to go back to marquee. Yeah, marquee is going back under the uh, spectrum wave, so like I said, this software is quite glitchy. Um, another option that we have is alternating, which again, this is not what I chose. It's supposed to uh, kind of flip around between um, red and blue um, in the series of LEDs that are actually in the, um, in the, uh, the pump casing. Uh, you'll see it light up red one point and then blue and it just kind of spins around in a wheel. Um, tai Chi is another one. And this is where it's pulsing between uh, red and blue by default. Can again change the, change the colors. The next one's called Water Cooler. This one just looks like it basically pulses between um, some number or some colors here. Just kind of neat. And then there's uh, maybe something that a lot of us might recognize as a loading. This is actually somewhat doing what the alternating is supposed to do, but also partially the loading. So it's, it's very bizarre. Um, anyway, unchecking or checking logo again and unchecking ring um, doesn't really give us any other additional options so that's about all that there is to this software um, it's a little glitchy hoping that NZXT corrects the issues that we see here and then uh, it'll make modifying your lighting system a little bit easier um, again this is uh, NZXT's all new Kraken X62 cooler. This is the Hue Plus lighting system showing here. And again, this is Brian with the Legit Reviews. Have a great day.